This is one of the coolest things that you can possibly do at SIGGRAPH. Uh, everything you'll see is being rendered in real time, and, and of course, it's live. So next up, we have virtual production in Book of the Dead, Technicolor's Genesis platform powered by Unity. Presenting are Vessel and Ephraimoff from Unity Technologies, uh, Francesco Giordana, Callum James, Adam Davis, Girish Balakrishnan from MPC, and Gail Soramount from Technicolor R&I. So for our internal demo productions at Unity, we use the latest engine features and create experimental projects with them. Book of the Dead is one such project. We set out to make an experience which can be both watched as a movie and played as a game. With real-time technology, films and games are coming closer together, both in terms of what we can make, uh, but also in terms of how we can make it. Francesco and the rest of the team will now show you how MPC's virtual production platform uses both modern and traditional tools to empower filmmakers. All right, thank you very much, Wes. So tonight, we're gonna try and do something a little bit different. We're gonna try and shoot a teaser shot for Book of the Dead live in front of you. So this is not a tech demo, this is basically our kit taken from Pinewood Studios from a stage, packed up in a box, shipped over the ocean, and then unpacked in front of you just at least a portion of it, where we're gonna use it to you know, make a, some sort of shot in front of you. So um, first thing, when we have a, a set, we wanna be able to scout it to find a shot. So we're gonna go in VR, and Grish will take the lead from here. All right. Thank you guys very much. Uh, we are inside the world of the Book of the Dead. Um, and so the shot that you saw up there, you know, I really liked it, but I, I have some changes I need to make. So I need a set dresser. Adam, where are you? Yep, just behind you. Oh, well, hey, hey buddy, how are you doing? Um, so let's uh, teleport down here, and I think I'm gonna line up a shot here with the virtual camera. Um, so take a look over my shoulder. Yep. So over here, I'm thinking I like this framing, but it's a little too wide for my taste. So can we bring something in to kind of fr uh, bring the framing a little bit narrower? Well, what about this? Well, okay, come on. Okay, that's a little ridiculous. Well, you Put said that move something. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Um, let's move something a little bit more appropriate. Uh, tree on the right? Yeah, that, that may work. How's that? All right, bring that in a little tell bit more. Tell me when, tell me when, little tell little me when. Lower. Jeez, directors. <laughs> all right, stop right there. Thank you, Jake. All right, so um, if you come back over here, I think the shot, instead of just starting right here, I wanna start right up in the trees and then maybe crane down a little bit. So can you set a mark for me over here? Well, somewhere there, yeah. Yep, that sounds good. And Callum, do you mind playing the animation forward? Sure. All right, that sounds good. Can you pause right there? All right, I'm gonna boom down and it would be good to kind of get this and end on this really nice frame right here. So set a mark over here. So number two here. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna get out of VR, but Adam, I need some help later on, so just stay yep. in VR for me. And Kelm, do you mind lining up that shot with the crane? So as you can see, VR could be a very powerful tool to basically explore the space and find your shot. And we wanna show how important it is to collaborate in this space. So this is just a start. Now we have a, a bit of a vague idea of what we wanna do, but it's time to bring in the real cameras, the virtual cameras, and actually make a shot. So um, to do that, we have brought with us a number of physical devices which are all connected together, and then they can be used to control a camera. The reason why we do that is because we wanna make sure that a film crew that has worked for many, many years in, in real sets feels familiar and can replicate the movements that they, they would use in real cameras and to, uh, to drive virtual devices as well. So I'm gonna pass it back to, to Garish for, uh, for some testing of the of the rig, first of all. So, um, Grish wants to use a crane for this shot, but we couldn't fit a real crane in here because it's too big. So what we did, we brought smaller devices, like some pan bars that Grish is moving right now, some wheels that Nigel will move in the corner there, like a focus spot with which you can refocus, and also a little slider over there which will act as a dolly track. So these are just approximations of the real gear we would use but of course we have to do with the space that we have. But the idea is that now all these guys, we can work together and build a shot like, like a real camera crew would do. So back to you, Garish, again, and then uh, let's, let's actually make a shot. Awesome, so if we, now that we're lined up right here, I think I'm gonna boom up to my first mark, which is right here, do you mind tilting down for me? And so as we move the camera down, we just need to lift up and let our character pass right by, all right? So uh, let's roll camera. Speed. 
All right, ready? And three, two, one, action. All right, let's cut right there. Can we, can we check the gate? <laughs> All right. Um, so now, you know, that was a good shot, but I think it had an idea for another one. So what if we do something where we dolly back with our actor, and as he comes, as she comes back in the frame, you know, we pull back the slider and then lift up the crane. To do that, can we slide the dolly to our end mark? You know, I think I, I kind of want to push out a little bit more. Adam, do you mind actually taking the dolly track out a little bit further? Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. All right. I think that's going to work. So uh, let's start here. And Ben, while our character comes in, just keep pulling back. And then let her, as soon as she starts getting out of frame, I'm going to start craning up. All right? Sounds great. Sounds good. All right. Let's roll camera. All right, ready? And three, two, one, action. And dolly. All right, let's cut right there. Cut there. All right, nice. So, you know, that's a really good shot, um, but I think the first one is a preferred one for me. So, Callum, do you mind start loading up that first take back? And I just want to review it. So one, one good feature that we have is that we can at any point bring back any pre-recorded animations that we have produced during the shoot and then decide to play it back and then override any individual track that we produced. So in this particular case, Garish can choose anything he wants. He can either keep the shot the way it is or he can reoperate any of the tracks, any of the devices or any of the options that he, that he chose. So let's see what, he, what he's going to do. Let's come and get it loaded up. Let's uh, do a playback. Right, that looks pretty good, but you know what? Um, I actually want the sun to actually move to the left. So Adam, uh, since you were born with the power of the sun, can you move the sun to the left, please? All right, boss. So tell me when, coming over. Keep going, keep going. Up, oh, oh, that was pretty good. Go back too a little much? bit, a little too much. Yeah, let's go right there. That's looking pretty nice. Okay, awesome. And uh, Calum, do you mind switching that to a 60? I like to punch in a little bit further. Cool, and I'm gonna operate the focus over here. I'm gonna start a little out of focus and come into focus as we come down. All right, so let's rerun the shot. Three. And three, two, one, action. Awesome, let's cut right there. And that is a print. Thank you very much. Court.